show stampers. My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado. And this is my buddy Puccini who keeps me company in the craft room. And uh, we have a very fun Christmas card for you today. He's, he just got up from a nap so he's not all that sure he wants to be here right this minute. <laughs> Um, and it's a simple and fast Christmas card, yet very, very pretty. So let's just get started. All right, here is my card. And I think it's very festive and very pretty. And on the inside, it's very simple. Again, just says joy and then brings a little of the paper from the outside to the inside. And this is what it takes to make this card. I used a base of Evening Evergreen cut at four and a quarter by eight and a half, five, pardon me, five and a quarter by eight and a half, and um, scored and folded at four and a quarter. And then uh, the only thing I'm changing up I'm is sorry. this, this paper also has this version of the paper that has a little silver foil on it. And I thought I would use that on this one and see what difference it made. All right, so the very first thing is we're going to attach this to our, um, our card front. And this is, this piece is four by five and a quarter. And this is my plus vellum tape that I'm going to be using here. I'll put a link in, underneath the video where one can get this. And I'm just going to place that centered on the front of my card. Then I have this beautiful paper from the, fra the what's it called? Flame, framed florets paper? Uh, fitting florets. Fitting florets 12 by 12 paper. I thought this was awful pretty paper in there. And I've cut this one five and a quarter by, I think it's two and a half. Yes, by two and a half. And I'm setting that right across the center of this piece of paper, centering on that piece so that it covers and goes all the way across. Then I have a piece from the Boughs of Holly. This is that large poinsettia paper. And this piece is two inches by three inches. And on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. So I'm putting a whole bunch of them on. I'm putting, I think it's six on, on this piece of paper. And I'm taking the release papers right off so I'm putting it in the four corners and then two in the middle, as is a lot more dimensionals that one needs for this particular piece of paper. But there's method to my madness here. Then I have a piece of this gold cord that comes in the gold and silver. And let me cut this little piece here. And this piece is... I don't know, 6, 17, 18 inches long. And what I wanted to do is this, curl this around. So this, this piece has a nice little curl to it right up here at the top. So I'm going to run that across this dimensional there. Then I'm going to take a piece here that is going to curl around this way and put it on this dimensional here, and that's going to curl around the front. Then I have, oops, well that didn't work out quite the way I had in mind, but it'll, it'll still work. There we go. And then I'm going to put a piece on this side, and I'm gonna bring it all the way down here on this piece of paper. Make sure I've got all of that release paper off of there. Yeah, I do, okay. And curl this one around here and then bring this one here and curl it around. 
let's see if we can get this. It, and this is a bit of an art form. It's just whatever makes you happy <laughs> as you go through and and put this paper, this, and it automatically has a little bit of curl to it, so it's pretty easy to manipulate. Now, if I turn this around and look at this design here, I think if I do it this way and let this curl up and pull this piece out, that's going to do just what I want. So I'm going to grab this piece like this with all of those dimensionals on it and put it into place, bring it in about three quarters of an inch, something like that, and settle it down on this piece of paper. Now then, I can just manipulate these around until I get them to curl whichever way it is I want them to right here on the front of my card. Now then, I have a piece of Evening Evergreen, and this is take two for me, so I've already done it. This is one and a quarter by two and three quarters. And then I used my gold embossing powder and embossed Merry Christmas, and I used the Lights Aglow uh, stamp set, and I used two stamps from that stamp set, and I'll show you here. I just don't want that sentiment to be able to rock. All right, and then I'm going to put that right here on my card. Oops, I want it to go a little further in, like right here. There we go. Straight would be good. There we go. And there's my Merry Christmas. And then I have a few of these gold leaves still. I think they're on the last chance list. <laughs> and I'm down to just a couple left here on this. And I'm going to put these down. I may just put a little bit of glue on the back side of that cord. See if I can get it to stick down on the paper the way I want. Okay, now what I used was glue dots from some old paper pumpkin um, packages that I have. And I save all of those glue dots because I kind of like them for, for being able to put down just where I want them on my projects. And so I'm going to put two on the backs of each of these leaves and put those leaves into place on the front of my card. There we go. And then I have a couple of red rhinestones that I'm going to put down at the base of those leaves three or four, just however many it takes to make the right kind of design you want. And so there we go. Very pretty. And that is pretty much the front of my card done. I used three, so I think I'm going to dot a couple more around on this one. I kind of like that look. There we go. Maybe one last one right down here. There we go. All right. So there we have the front of our card. Now for the inside of our card, I have this piece of white that is four by five and a quarter. And then I have these two strips to go on the inside. I also have my Cherry Cobbler ink, and then I have my stamp that says Joy on it, and those are the ones that come from this stamp set, The Brightest Glow. There's my Merry Christmas, and there's my Joy. 
And so I'm going to ink up my joy and set it down right here along this side, getting pressure all along the stamp but not rocking it. And there's my joy. Now then, this is ready to go on the inside of my card and we're almost done. So this is going to get a little bit of seal on it and put my joy down centered on the inside of this card. Then this piece of DSP from the Boughs of Holly to match that that's on the front and that is going to go all the way down the card and if I need to nip off a piece and I can see that I do here it will just be a perfect fit. Now then I have this little strip that we used on the outside to go on the inside here that strip isn't down very straight, so I'm going to try and straighten that out. There we go. And then I'm going to use my silicone mat here so I can put some glue on the back of this little piece of dotted paper and put that into place. Oops, I think that's going to be, let me start that at the top and bring it down to the bottom and I'm going to have to nip off that piece as well. There we go. Now it fits on there perfectly. And there is my card. Isn't that pretty? It's just such a pretty little card. And oh, I think this one is running rogue on me here. I may have to let me try and get it under this glue dot over here or this um, conventional on this side and get it to curl up this way. And it looks like I'm going to have to encourage it with a little bit more glue. And I think that dot runner will work. There we go. All right. So there is my card. And uh, thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. This is on there just a little bit crooked. There we go. Much better. All right. Thanks again so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. Uh, and if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, well, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Or you could join my team. Um, it's always a good idea to join Stampin' Up! And um, uh, there will be a join offer, by the way, in January with the new catalog. Uh, the new catalog will come out January 4th, and um, you'll be able to uh, join. There's a, going to be a join offer there uh, that's pretty good. And uh, I'll talk a little bit more about it as we get a little bit closer. But right now, it's $125 worth of product for $99. Still not a bad deal. So um, that is it for me. Uh, let's see. I have a prize draw once in a month. Once a month, you put yourself in the drawing by placing an order of any size on my store, lbedinger.stampinup.net. And you can get to it through my blog, www.inkandingenuity.com. So that's it for me. I will be back soon with more cards, more tips, and more projects. Bye!